Good evening everyone, welcome to a match of Dota 2. And we have ourselves a match between Mouse Sports and Empire. This is a match for Star Ladder Season 3. And uh, it's the best out of one. It's a ladder season, so it's like everybody plays each other once, I believe. Uh, so we're gonna have Empire on the Radiant side this time, Mouse Sports on the Dire side, and as people have uh, already heard, because I said it earlier as well, we will not have Black standing in for Kebab this time, it will be Puss, it is a uh, player for KP at the moment, and you might know him from former Ubelst as well, as uh, Kurokai and Alex are of course uh, the solid stand-ins right now, and they are also former Ubelst, so... They know each other a bit, but I do not think they have played in this composition competitive before. So something to take into account. And of course, we know Empire. We have seen Empire a lot today, a no lot sport. Saturday. To ban. And they they have had some very good games. They have had some amazing uh, wins. We have seen them lose, though, so there is hope. But they, they win most of their games, and they were able to take the number one, for example, in the last World Tournament today versus uh, Virtus Pro in the best out of five. Very convincing. And, uh, yeah, so, a game, Star Ladder. And also, by the way, the reason I am casting this is because uh, there is otherwise no English cast for this match, and uh, it will also mean that I am casting this via Dota TV. So one thing that you will miss in this cast... And I mean, like, something that is just not there, is on top of the screen, normally you see the health bars of all the heroes. We do not see that because we are watching via Dota TV. So there's a difference that we see here, and that is something that uh, might make me miss some kills. Maybe not. I hope not. It will just increase my focus, I guess. It keeps me on my toes. In the meantime... We see Empire, they ban out the Broodmother. I have to say, they ban out the Broodmother first ban every, every, every single time. Apart from that one time, they let it slip and they picked him up themselves. Uh, they also ban out the Wisp, they probably saw the previous game from Mouseport, and the Brewmaster, Chen, Lycan, and Lanaya, or otherwise known as Templar Assassin, getting banned out, and a Darkseer and a Rubik getting picked up by Mouseports because Empire favored Naga Siren over those. And I have to say, this is looking pretty nice. This is looking pretty nice. Le Shrek picked up by Empire, Morphling there as well. Empire looking very strong, but Rubik and Darkseer are heroes that should not be underestimated in none of the occasions. It's like, it's just a very good hero to have. Obviously, you have your entire opponent's lineup in one hero, if you're playing it properly. And uh, we might see uh, Sing playing him in the mid lane, as we have seen before. Darkseer is going to be in off lane. I have to say, I am not really known at what role Puss plays. So we will see uh, see what that is going to do with, uh, with uh, the roles that everybody plays. Of course, we saw in the previous game that we saw for Mouseport versus EG, we saw Korokai playing that support role, and I do think he's going to go back to the farming role, purely because I don't think that Puss is the carry for... Ubels, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. They do pick up the anti mage though, having that sort of counter against the Morphling, so it is an anti mage versus Morphling game. I'm sorry. I am sorry, but it is the case. And uh, we will uh, see that. And in the meantime, we are already into our next banning phase. This is going pretty fast, and I have to say, well, my mouse lot used some of their uh, bonus time, but Empire not wasting any time just yet. Uh, right now, they are thinking a bit harder about what kind of lineup. Mouse is gonna seconds, gonna right. have what kind of what heroes can they ban out to still mess up Mouse for his lineup or maybe counters for heroes that they want to pick up themselves and I mean they have got the Rubik there and I did say that he might be solo mid and I did think he's gonna be solo mid uh, but apparently Empire doesn't th Mouse think so as they ban out the Invoker uh, but Rubik could also be a nice support together with the Ant Mage we'll see if that's gonna happen or. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll see what, what's going to happen. Of course, Darkseer has a solo link, so we have at least uh, that one already. But in theory, in theory, Mouse Sports has got all their lanes sorted. So it's very, it's, it's for Empire, it is really estimating what they expect to happen for Mouse Sports to see if they've done their homework from what these players like to play and stuff like that. Uh, they have played Puss, for example, uh, earlier this weekend, so maybe they remember him from from that, even though he has, he's going on a different name. You might know him as Dota Zero. Uh, we have a Tidehunter ban out, not Radiant wanting to have team more team ban. fight than Empire already have. He might also still have an Enigma ban out. A hero that, I mean, if he's on the dire side, 
he pretty he's pretty good because you have a black hole vacuum, but I don't think they really want to go for that. The option is still there, though. If the radiant side picks it up, uh, they of course have that combination Naga Siren black hole where she can make sure that she also has a Rubik in the black hole. Uh, because that is what you want to do, because if he's not in the black hole, you will steal it, and you don't want that to happen. But we'll see. Something that we see a lot with the Naga Siren as well is the Disruptor. Uh, and there is still the Enigma, so we, we will have uh, that combination. And if they also pick up the Disruptor, though, that is going to be so painful for most sports if they're going to get caught out in one of those Wombo Combo styles, because that will happen. And I know that a lot of people say, sad, like over the last week or so, stop saying Wombo Combo, it's overused. I have to say, if there's a Disruptor, an Enigma, and a Naga Siren combined, that is Wombo Combo. So, just putting it out there. Uh, let's see how most sports are going to reply to this Enigma. I mean, the Jungle Hero Enchantress is still in the pool if they want to go for that. Uh, other than that, they don't really have one of those solo junglers left anymore. And the reason I say that is because Enigma is, of course, going to be in that jungle. But uh, most sports have to have something to keep Empire at bay while they let their anti-mage farm and maybe also have something that shuts down a Morphling slightly and they can't go for team fight because that is already in Empire's favor or maybe if they pick up a Sand King or something like that they're still able to get the epicenter vacuum off and just counter fire with fire so to speak one more combo on either side I have to say that's gonna be uh, quite entertaining to watch if they actually manage to get catch that out uh, uh, you know, to actually uh, get that off. Uh, there is the Shadow Shaman, anti-mage support, uh, lately coming into favor a lot more again, and and a good support for the anti-mage as well, and also giving away that we might see a Rubik solo mid indeed, and still maybe a jungle hero. Otherwise, it could be a potential trial in, of course, as well. And we have seen Rubiks in the jungle as well. And the reason I say that there is that mouse sports on the dire side, and the dire side jungle works a little bit differently than the radiant jungle, where you can at least for the dire and side you can have one person on the on the well on the right side of the jungle, so to speak. Uh, able to uh, to just continuously pull those stacks and pull them to the creeps and just time. keep the lane in check for your anti mates that's farming on the top lane and make sure that your heroes in the jungle are gonna get farm as well without being an actual jungle hero so that might be the case that might be what we're seeing empire now last pick uh, we're gonna have the enigma on the, in the jungles most likely naga siren with the lashrak most likely i mean that combination is a uh, pretty solid pretty well known i mean lashrak's done follow up on the ensnare you cannot escape that and uh, that means that uh, they will have to have a solo lane if they're going to have a Morphling solo as well. Of course, we have seen earlier today as well that Enigma will uh, could be on a solo lane as well. So that option is there. Uh, but we'll see. that Depending on what their last pick is going to be, we'll know what they're going to do. And I do think that the same uh, thing goes for uh, for most sports until they pick up the last zero. We're not entirely sure how they're going to lane that. And even if they pick up the last zero, we might still have a hero that we do not know what uh, lane is going to be. But that is all part of the strategy that these teams need to play out. That's all part of the mind game. And Dota 2 is a pretty big mind game. So uh, if you can... Uh, if you can play this part well, you're already halfway there, I do believe. And uh, they do pick up the Enchantress, so we are going to see an Enigma no laning, but that is not what I was expecting. As in, I was not expecting them to still pick up a jungle hero, but maybe they were expecting Mouse to still pick up the Enchantress, and this way they deny the Enchantress to Mouse. But we're, we're then going to see Enigma laning, Enchantress going to be in the jungle, and Morphling solo, Lishrak, Naga Siren together. Lishrak might even rotate around, maybe support the Morphling slightly. Uh, but I do think Naga Simon is just Ten one of those lanes that you can't really pass on. If you have those two, you have to have them on the same lane. Most sports in the meantime also taking their time. They still have 30 seconds into their bonus time, which they can use for this last pick. And if they were aiming to get the Enchantress in this pick, they they really have something to think about because if you if you if you well, wow, stuttering. If you wanted to pick the Enchantress, last really rely on jungle hero in in the game, in the hero pool, I should say. Uh, that you're kind of left without uh, any real replacement options. You really have Ten to think that through, really and they only have nine seconds left to do that. So, uh, Five seconds. having some trouble here, and there's the Disruptor. On the other side that I was expecting him on, I did mention him, uh, but Disruptor, Kinetic Field, Static Storm, Vacuuming, and everybody is silenced, and taking damage, and maybe Antimage with a Battle Fury in there as well, and then Aether, Shock, and a Fade Bolt. That is a lot of damage going through, if they get it off. But, you know, that is all the question, that is all what we're going to see, so that's why I'm going to switch overlays. And I'm sorry, I do not have an official Star Ladder overlay, because I, uh, I don't. There. 
anyway, uh, let's, uh, well, let's actually wait until all these people picked up their heroes. And uh, we are already able to see off some of who is playing what. And it is different than what I thought it would be. Oh yeah, that's something that I have to change. Because obviously, um, since we're watching via Dota TV, I do not have... Prepare oh! for battle. Look at that! They changed it! We see health bars! <gasps> Rejoice! Rejoice! Oh, I'm so happy with that. That means that there's basically no difference in casting via Dota TV and casting via, uh, you know, just in a broadcaster slot. The only, the only difference is that you can't listen to me in Dota TV and that uh, I do have delay um, in in the game itself. <sighs> Health bars. Anyway. Let's see who's playing what. We have Naga Siren being played by Blow Your Brain. Uh, we have Silent playing the Lashrak, and like I said, these two two are gonna stick together like glue. And they are followed by the Enchantress, who's gonna be played by none other than Goblack, of course. He is that jungle hero for Empire. Scandal will be taken up in the middle, playing that Morphling. And on the top lane, we're gonna have Funic on the Enigma. And uh, that should not come as a surprise, because he is that long lane solo. And with that with that demonic conversion, he will be able to keep the lane into his, into his uh, area, into his court. Let's jump ourselves over to the mouse lineup to see who's playing what and where. We have Bamboo on the darks here, also of course the long laner, uh, long laner for a mouse sports, and uh, he will be playing the darks here versus that combination that is pretty painful the even if you have begins. a surge. So he has to be really careful not to get ca caught out there. He does pick up a haste rune, so lucky for him. And uh, mid lane will have 60 on that Rubik, so he'll be soloing that up uh, versus the Morphling. Pretty solid lineup for both. I mean, I don't think either will die. Uh, Sigma will, of course, aim to steal that morph from the Morphling, which is actually his first spell, so has some luck with that. But at the start of the game, it's not that important. But if you if you reach that 10 to 20 minute mark, 15 minute mark, then you kind of want that morph to have that extra extra power up on the, on the Rubik. And with power, I mean HP. Uh, the top lane, we see Kurokai against support, just like previous game. This time, he's going to be on the Shadow Shaman, picked up a Shackle as a first one. Uh, so fairly aggressive at that, and that is usually one that you see combined with the anti mage though. I mean, that is just, you're you're being held in place and, and your mana gets drained, that is just painful. Uh, we have got Alex on the Disruptor, and they will leave past the new standing in instead of Black. Uh, and Black was also standing in for Kebab, who is the MIA at the moment, and who will be playing at the anti mage on the top lane. And who will be looking to get some free farm versus this Enigma, and of course, like I said, Enigma will have the nice. And maybe also a lot of harassment, maybe with the Zylons, but there is still a lot of heroes here helping out that anti mage. So they will be able to harass Phonic back a lot if they choose to do so, which at the moment they do not choose to do. Uh, but at least it will stop uh, past uh, farming slightly. And if you're asking, uh, well, where is the first blood going to happen? I am thinking bottom lane. I am thinking combination and snare, combination stun to follow up, even though he picked up Edict first, but he will have some second. And there's not that much that you can do against that. That is, uh... That is, yeah. It's just that, not even Surge. Maybe if you wait long enough with your Surge until you can actually uh, get away, then maybe that... He actually picked up his Iron Shell first, though. No Surge, so no uh, security just there. He is really trying to get in range of that experience. He's actually succeeding and almost getting level 2. That is what he's aiming for at first. And he'll be a bit more cocky, maybe, with his uh, escape mechanism. But then at the same time... Oh, I am not lagging. Anti mage is pus. Sorry. Um, also, for people that watch the VOD, like I said, there is no delay on my stream, which will mean that the chat is actually up to date, which means that sometimes I do look a bit more at the chat than I normally do, which means I answer the chat. So it is a pus, which is a player from KP, and formerly we saw him play for Ubas, I believe, and who is standing in here for Mouse Sports, uh, because Kebab is MIA. And Black had to go after the previous match where Black stood in instead of uh, early on. So that is the anti mage, and he will be looking to free farm. Uh, who is free farming, by the way? Talking about free farm, this Naga Siren, 19 for 5, is doing a great job at uh, making sure that she indeed keeps her uh, gold flowing. Because Darkseer already had to back up once to get all his mana. He's level 2 right now, though, and he's got a TP with his Iron Shell on towards the bottom lane, clearing out some trees as he does so, and will be able to just. Uh, get some extra harassment in now that he knows that Lashrek is not that not that close by. He does have a ward here, so he's able to see when a gank might be incoming. At the same time, this ensnare is a pretty big range, so I'm not sure if he should be wanting to come in 
all too, uh, too big range. But for now, he's okay. Uh, we do see Nagasai was backing into an, her snare right by the way, so she does want to go for that early kill, for that combination with Leshrak. See if Leshrak is getting some levels with the creeps, he has uh, managed to uh, stack, and it was a double stack, which we saw, just a big centaur going down again. And uh, you will be uh, getting even level 3, I think, uh, with this one as well. So having level 2 in Edict and or just going, wow, not going for the stun. That is very unorthodox to see, purely because you want him to have that follow-up combination, but apparently not trying to do that just yet. In the meantime, we have Enigma and a lot of trouble on the top lane. A static storm there, Shack one. That is the first blood, and it is Alex that picks up the first blood. And I have to say, that was a glimpse, by the way. I mean, I, I looked at the minimap, and I saw that he was safe. Because he was moving this way. Oh, okay, that is something that I can't do. I cannot draw on the minimap. Sad. But he was moving this way, and he was actually here already before he got glimpsed back into the middle of three heroes where he did not want to be. Nice counter word. So, a nice counter word here, also, by the way. Just pointing that out. Making sure that uh, there is no uh, vision for Bamboo, so ganks are uh, around the corner once again, pun intended. But yeah, first boss going towards uh, mouse sports, going towards the disruptor, getting him some extra gold, making him able to either uh, pick up boots, uh, which he does actually, and uh, some extra support items as well. It's never bad to have your first blood going to the support, even though of course you you would ideally you would want to get your 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 hard carry getting it, but getting it on a support is definitely not bad. Here comes the chandra. There's the surge. There's the snare. They'll follow up some by the sand tower. And the Riptide is there as well. Bamboo, is he going to be able to get away? I don't think so. And Naga Siren picks up the kill, and that is the combination that I said. They didn't even need the Lashrak for that. He did get an assist because he got a right click in there, but the follow up stun didn't come from the Lashrak. It came from this little animal right here from the Sand Tower. Con. Sorry, that is his name. I never actually say that out loud. But from the Sand Tower will be. Uh, Will be helpful with that ensnare as well. It's just every follow-up song can just guaranteed hit with that ensnare. And now Bamboo knows, like, okay, you know what? I need a ward, or I am not gonna go back in there. And we we do indeed see that he doesn't have wards, but he's not gonna go back in there. He's gonna just pick up these quick kills right here. He has that stout shield, so we'll be able to get that pretty safely as well without getting harassed all too much. Uh, which will also mean that we see four heroes of mouse sports in their own jungle slash top lane. Leaving the bottle lane free farm for Nagasar still, who is 42 for 14, and a second runner up is Scandal on his morph on his morphling. Also a hero that you really don't want to have that much farm up on. Antimage is keeping up though, 33 for 7 right now, but he is just one versus two. Where is the Antimage? Oh, there he is. Wow. So that is something that that he is to fight against, and and it is pretty difficult. Let me tell you that. Two hard carries versus one. Rubik in the meantime has managed to pick up 21 last hits. Has got boots. Is uh, is not doing that bad. He's not, he is level six. He has not uh, stolen a spell just yet. Uh, but he'll probably look at the morph to see what he can spell there. Seal there, and it is the morph that he gets. Nice. He can already move morph his agility away if he wants to, and we immediately see him do that. After which he's ready to steal another spell. And of course he'll aim to do that again when he's level 11 or something like that, just to make sure that he has. That uh, and I went well. Actually, I should be thinking more in times rather than levels. Uh, when he when when the 20 minute mark hits, just to make sure that he continues to keep his agility at zero and his strength at maximum, because just that just makes him such a tanky hero. And if he's gonna get ganked right now as well, that would be a very uh, difficult gank purely because he does have 1200 HP and we're only seven minutes into the game. So good job of that. In the meantime, we see the trial lane top moving towards. Uh, the tier uh, tier one tower looking for Enigma, but he is uh, blocking himself in the jungle with idols. Oh, blinking fast finds him, and there's the thunder strike as well, giving vision there. Either shock Enigma, he will drop, and at this time it is past that picks up the kill. Nice job there, as we see Alex being locked in place with the idols. <laughs> this is gonna be painful, Corky. Where are you gonna go? Creeps blocking them in as well. Where is the support? Are they gonna come? No, either shock helping out, self being used, and now they can get out and maybe even throw some extra harassment on this tower. Maybe even get the tower down. In which case, that would be a big, big blow to Empire, given that extra gold to my sports. It does look like they won't be able to get it, and they will make sure that they won't put it into the Nair range as well by trying to get it anyway. In the meantime, the Shrek mid lane, gank still happened. It was on the Rubik, and it still can't, can't draw on the minimap. It was the Shrek that managed to pick up the kill. 
with the uh, Morphling weaving over the top and then Chandra's helping out with her slow. So nice pick up here in the middle lane, making sure the middle lane is definitely in favor of Empire. So right now, if you just look at the laning phase, I mean, it is a Naga Siren that has definitely won the medal in the bottom lane. The middle lane just won by the Scandal, of course, he was already ahead on Lassus as well. Top lane, though, the Anti-Mage is gonna be winning there. And one thing that we have to note about the Anti-Mage here, I mean, I did say it's 2 minutes one wait a second, and Enigma glimpsed back up on the track. So he won't be able to do anything here. We still see the the Shrouder going down. We see the Shadow Shaman going down. The Shrek doing the work for the Nick getting the last hit. Iron Lungs, pretty powerful, and it is Plus that has to back out. No kill on the Nick just then, and he pops himself. He's gonna be fine, and he's gonna be able to deny his power as well. And that is and that is not what Mousefords were gonna go for. At least he didn't lose the anti -mage. That is only the only good thing that came from that one. If you can call not dying a good thing, it should be something that is, you know, automatically there. In the meantime, gank once again, this time on Bamboo, here comes the Ensnare, and there's even two Ensnares, a web and an Ensnare. So which one is going to be first? Bamboo is going to try to t maybe TP out to look at that damage. It's just, it's, he's just going to go down. And there's Enchantress that picks up the kill, though, something that, <laughs> again, uh, dying is not something you should be happy about, happy about, but if you die to an Enchantress, that is better than dying to a Ninosaur, which you already have free farm to begin with. But what I wanted to say before that action happened is that anti-mage is anti-mage for a reason. Uh, if the game gets to like 15 minutes, give or take, like long, uh, he will be able to outcarry the Morphling as well as the Naga Siren, I think. Don't quote me on that though. Dep it really depends, but anti-mage is just a later game when he has his Battle Fury, he farms faster than the Morphling. And actually 15 minutes is a bit too far in then. Uh, but still, it is it is an anti mage for a reason. So we we are still gonna oh scandal picks up. No, it didn't pick up the invisible rune actually. The Shrek picks up the kill. We from over the top on the double damage was picked up a scandal and there goes Sing Sing Edith helping out as well. Morphling morphing into his replica. We from over the top will be enough. I think it will be. And Morphling picks up another kill. This time on the Rubik. And I say another kill, but that was actually his first kill because the Shrek picked up the other one. And in Empire, Funic now in the middle here as well with his Ilons, which means. They want this tower dead, and I have to say, this is looking bad for Mouse. I mean, they I need to have something to withstand. I mean, they ha the thing that, like I said, their anti-mage needs time. Time is what they need, and they can't afford to lose these kind of pickoffs, lose these kind of fights, and uh, hope to survive long enough for the anti-mage to get big. No pressure, pass. No pressure. Uh, he is building towards the Battle Fury. And he's almost uh, there as well. He picked up his, cl his claymore, he picked up his perseverance. So not far off. Enigma might be in some trouble here. Telekinesis got to have picked up. <laughs> and Snare as well. I've seen Shackle rather. And that is going to be a kill. And that will be going towards the Ether Shock of the Shadow Shaman. Kuroka picking that one up. And he stole it him on a conversion. So extra pushing power for most sports right now. As they are four heroes in this middle lane. Moving towards the bottom lane because our tier 1 tower getting pressured. Because this Naga Siren is still free farming. Yasha being picked up by the Naga Siren here. So we're going for uh, more illusions, indicating uh, more pushing power as well. Edith helping out with putting a lot of damage on the stereo 2 tower, and they can't really go in and adjust yet. Maybe now they can. But Naga Siren being close by, ready to lay down a song if she has to. Demonic Converter from Sing helping out. But that was just free tower damage right there. One Edict, and it's almost down to, uh, well, it's down 500 HP. Almost. Almost down to 500 HP. 508. I have another 8 HP. And now we see Lawyer Brain leaving his lane. Figured, you know what, there's nothing to farm there anymore. I'll go uh, towards mid and steal some of Scandal's farm, who still is farming mid. Has got three, has been in three kills, I should say, because he has only got one of those three, but still been in three kills. Nice job for him, as uh, he is looking pretty good for uh, for late game now as well. 15 on a gold up on him. As we see Le Shrek, oh, pause. Uh, very polite, by the way. I mean, normally you have just an instant pause, but uh, lately you see a lot more teams going for that either P or either sack, uh, you know, right before they have to pause the game. So I do, I do like that. It just gives your opponents a bit of a warning so that they don't mess up any last hits and stuff like that, because that can indeed mess up your last hits. Wait, don't unpause one minute. Says Ken. Well, he's he actually looks like he's saying, "Wait one minute." Like to that guy that's standing here, which is not there, but yeah, sorry, distracted. In the meantime, we have a Nick building towards the mechanism. He's almost there as well. I mean, he just needs uh, the recipe now, or 
part of it, 700 volts away from that mechanism. And uh, he is level 8. We have not seen a black hole yet, I believe. So we might see uh, that combination coming off soon because it's still Empire that has the team fight in their hands. So when they start pushing, they can push with 5 and say, you know what, team fight us or your tower dies. And it is Empire that will have the advantage there, especially since they can initiate so nice with that song. And until Mosport has BKBs up or anything like that, uh, they will still have to deal with that. And having said that, BKBs of course don't help against the black hole, but they will be able to help against anything else that comes off after a song. And you will be able to get the BKBs up before anybody else of the opponent team cast, because the opponent team just normally waits like a split second longer than you do if you are mash smashing that button of your BKB. And we have Enchantress who picked up an urn has got is uh, got the Radiant warning duty up on her. Is she has also been in three kills right now, one kill for herself, and she finds the illusion of the disruptor. But the uh, illusion is dead already. And she got 500 go gold, and she got already got the threads as well. So pretty thank you for her. And let's just see what Naga Siren has uh, right now. We saw the Yasha two k gold up on her, as that is almost complete for her. The the Mata style that is anti mage battle fury complete. But we still see him on the lane because it is still faster to farm on the lane right now before he gets his boot. He needs his threads. He really rushed that battle fury. It's definitely not a bad score, 12 minutes for a battle fury. But he needs those those threads for that extra tech speed, for that extra gold. Extra gold? Wow. Extra extra health, extra movement speed is not even needed, but it's the attack speed that is very uh, important here. Uh, in which case, uh, yeah, that is what he's waiting for. He almost has it though. As in the speed of which he's farming, he almost has it. And right now also he has his, uh, his entire team in his jungle, so he can't really farm his jungle all that well anyway. Because the Sing Sing figures, you know what, I can't farm really on that middle lane anymore. Oh! Oh, there were still his own conversions, of course. Never mind. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, and, and you see them staying together as well. Shadow Shaman is a bit scared of being alone. I don't blame him. I definitely don't blame him. Let's see what Bamboo has been able to get in this time. He did pick up a soul ring. He has got 34 last hits. Not that much, but he's been a little solo sideline, so I don't, uh, oh. Oh, song. There's just two here though, and a lot of incoming from Mouse here, and Snare there on Bamboo. He is not going to be staying alive long enough. Lushrak's not helping out. We see uh, <laughs> Silent being locked inside a war trap. He goes down to the ether shock. Blow your brain on the way out, and he can't sing anymore. Will they be fast enough though? I don't think so. If Bamboo stayed alive like a split second longer, which he of course didn't have any chance of doing, uh, there might have been a kill up on the Naga Siren, but trading a Lushrak for, for Darkseer is not that bad, at least they get something in return of an uh, ability used that could have been used for much bigger plays than that. We have uh, the Enigma, there he goes, mechanism complete, so that is that, and the tower also goes down as you just saw. Scandal going back towards the mid lane, he is going to be building towards the BKB by the looks of it, which is basically the end that you want to have if you're up versus Shadow Shaman. And I, I only say Shadow Shaman in this case, of course there's a lot of other spells that you want to dodge, but the Shadow Shaman is like Master Disabler and you don't want to get disabled, that is just basically it. If you get hexed, you won't be able to use your morph, that is uh, the most painful thing that you can have if, uh, as a morphling and you are getting a gank. So we do see him going towards uh, that. In the meantime, we have a kinetic storm up, trying to lock and fire, uh, trying to silent in place. He is still going to die though. We have the split earth being uh, stolen by the ruby. The shrafter goes down to the Naga Siren and TP'd in. They're not going to pick up anybody else just yet though. Nope, Gurkai and Sing Sing back in time. And one thing, of course, to note here again, I didn't mention it just yet, but I feel like, oh, wait a second, first top lane, and Chandra's is in trouble. Iron Shell's everywhere. Go Black, he is not going to be able to stay alive from this one. And we see Bamboo staying, uh, staying back slightly just so that Bass can get the last hit in air, which he did. So he is 2 for 0 right now. He's got 1300 gold, almost got his uh, threats complete, but we have a push on the bottom lane. Empire is ready. They have the man still up on the Naga Siren. They have got the BKB almost up on the Morphling, and they are ready to continue pushing. They don't want to wait any longer until that anti is big enough, and this is what I said earlier. Mouse has to stretch. They have to make sure that they have the time to have their anti get big, because right now, this is where the farming fest begins for the anti -mates. This is the time where he has to shine, where he has to outshine, rather, the Morphling and the Naga Siren. We do see a Naga Siren is 
only her illusion is able to take already 600 da damage off that tower. So that is something that they really have to be careful about. Morphling in the meantime, denying middle tower the middle tower, making sure that that extra gold doesn't go towards Mouse Towards. And for the people that just joined again and, and did see the match between uh, EG and Mouse Towards earlier, we do not have Black standing in for Kebab at this game. He was not able to make it. It is now Pass that is standing in. Pass who is also taking the place of Black that he would normally do. He is taking up that hard carry role up on his animates and he has threads and he moves into the jungle. He'll probably shout some at Bamboo for not taking his farm, but uh, that will be the case. In the meantime, we have uh, Roshan being attempted here by the Radiant side, and it will be uh, possible for them to just uh, get that. And one, oh wow, one thing that I wanted to say still that I didn't have a chance to win, well now it's gone actually, but the Split Earth was stolen by the Rubik earlier, and Split Earth on Rubik is more powerful than the Split Earth on the Shrek. Purely because you don't have to deal with that cast time. In the meantime, they know Roshan is going on, but what are they going to do against it? There's only Vacuum level 2. He's not going to be able to get anybody up on the high ground apart from Aidolon. As, as you can see, something got stolen here, and it is again the Split Earth. So good one there, but Roshan still goes down, and Morphling still picks it up. Then they are looking for action. They want to go for it. Alexo backing off. Same with Sing Sing. They don't want to be caught out, and they don't get caught out. And probably clearing up the way really soon. So this is what I said. You team fight them or your tower goes down. And right now I think Mouse's choice would be by tower. Because if the song is here, that is in look at their positioning. Making sure that they're so far apart. Oh, this actually I was gonna say their positioning it started out well, but then they moved together. Look at them! And they might all be in the black hole! Form a black hole! And it is one dead! It is two dead! The Shadow Shaman drops and Nigma drops! Antime is doing what he can, glimpse back for the Naga Siren, so he can't chase anymore. Alex alive, fast alive, but that was the only two Viper from the Rubik. There goes Alex, still goes down. Sing Sing trying to do what he can to force everybody back. And that was a double kill for the Enchantress, and that was exactly what I was talking about. And it happened as well, I mean, getting a four-man black hole, that should not have happened. That was wrong positioning coming off from my sports. Just uh, having to say that eating a eat cap out and they will get a tier 3 tower return. Let's see if they're gonna continue going for these barracks. It looks like they are, or at least illusions are. Morphling as well. Ether Shock will make sure the illusions go down. They're gonna go for it. Is this overextension from Empire? It might be. Blow your brain. In a lot of trouble. Will he go down? Yes, he will. Anti may speak on that one up. Silent doing what he can, but he will drop as well as Kurika picks up that one with his Ether Shock, and the rest is already backing off. Slight overextension. They could have backed out earlier, but still, it is at least for Mouse Sports. They are not done just yet. They got some kills in return, and they made sure that the buyback from Rubik was worth it because they did force them at least to not go for those barracks anymore. And uh, we're going to see if they're going to be able to hold on because if this is going to happen again, I do think that is going to be at least racks, maybe two racks. Meantime, Blink Dagger up on the Shadow Shaman, so we see more aggression coming off from Kurokai than normal Shadow Shamans. That is, of course, also his playstyle. And uh, curious to see how he's gonna be uh, having an impact on the game because he's level 8. And let's just put that up. That is the lowest level in the game. So if he blinks in, he really has to hack something really fast, otherwise, he's dead. And his, uh, his disables aren't really specced up that high just yet. So curious to see how he's gonna deal with that. Uh, same time we see, hey, we have Antimates, the highest level in the game. Uh, we do see him also picking up on farm right now. I'm going to put up net worth because that says a bit more. And we do see Antimates ahead there. Even though um, they are two towers, do three towers behind, actually, counting this tower here as well. So three towers behind, but still Antimates, highest net worth in the game. Um, might be because Donkey is carrying something towards uh, Morphling. Nope. Morphling finishing his BKB. And it does look like we're going to see the same thing again. They're just pushing. They're going to go for these barracks. You better are ready to fight this otherwise I don't know what you will uh, what you're gonna do without these barracks and they're just gonna go for it. Antime is not ready just yet. Even circle will clear out the illusions. Le Shrek stun from the Rubik being used. Hits on three scandal telekinesis. Le Shrek stun hitting Dark City of as well. Fate bolt going through. They cannot go in just yet. They are still wanting to. Those song is off cool and still Antimage get ensnared. But he will be able to blink away from that kinetic field as well as the Static Storm, but doesn't do anything right here as Scandal could just move away from that one. Barracks is still getting harassed, Scandal doesn't really matter, doesn't really mind about these vacuums that go off, and Telekinesis upon the fake Antimage, stunning everybody slightly, but these Barracks still getting harassed, Eidolon's on there, and there it goes! There it goes, that is the Melee Barracks down, you might see Empire backing up right now, they came, got what they came for, 
Still some damage being done, a snare on Bamboo, nobody died here just yet, Koblek might be the first one to go down actually, or maybe it will be Lashrak, it will be Lashrak, and it's anti that picks it up, Shadow Shaman, Shadow Shaman goes down though, he was uh, I think slightly uh, out of position as he was there, and uh, that is gonna be a Rax for, well they got one kill, but that is not really worth it. And th that is the power of Empire's Lineup right now. They are ready to fight earlier than Mouse Sports is. And that is, uh. I, well, I, I, I'm saying, you know, that's, that's what I said. Are they gonna be able to hold off long enough for the anti to get big? It's only one Rex. So it is not over just yet. And anti is farming quite fast right now. We do see him building towards his Mata style. Has got enough money for his ultimate orb now as well. So very close to there. And he is able to turn it around. But will it be fast enough? That is the question. Will these pushes from Empire continue to come? Like constantly. They didn't even have a black hole in that fight. Now they do again. Now they have the song again as well. They got the barracks without using the song, without using the black hole, and with only losing the Lashrak. And they even got a Shadow Shaman to root at that. So they are pretty uh, pretty strong right now. I have not even looked at the gold graph in this entire game, but I will do so right now. I will not surprise you that it will be ahead for Empire. I mean, yeah, that is not going to be a surprise whatsoever. It is uh, almost 12k. It was 12k even until until um, well, my sports got some uh, kills back and they're keeping it even again. Uh, making sure that, well, if you're keeping it even, you're staying ahead, as the saying goes. Saying that I guess I made up myself. Experience Craft, slightly less in favor of Empire. Still in favor of Empire, though. The, kills, the kill difference is not that big. It's only 5 kills, so anything could still change. But we do see Empire once again. They are not giving Mouse any time to farm. They are ready for this. Naga Siren is slightly behind, but everybody gets forced to TP back here. Tier 3 Tower already taking a lot of damage. Aether Shark will clear off some of the pre packs here. Edict that got stolen by Ruby clears off as well. There goes the Riptide. And that is more Eidolons, more illusions. And look at those illusions. And they just take the tower down. Nine seven picking that one up. And the barracks is going to be the next target. They need to fight. This is only. Uh, they, they don't lock anybody in with the kinetic fields here. And not even a vacuum from the from the darks here. Ooh, adapter strike. Force him back. Malefice as well. And there's a song. And look at this positioning. They can get at least three here in this black hole. And that is exactly what he's going to do. Doesn't get the disruptor though. And he just glimpses back. The enigma will be another way. Anime's taking a lot of damage from that imp impetus. Bamboo on the way, she, he drops through that Enchantress, we do see Disruptor dropping on the side as well, Silent doing what he can to take down his Barracks, Phonic and Silent just focusing on that one as a buyback from the Shadow Shaman, Barracks will still be the target, the Shrek stun will hit on two, but the Barracks will still drop here, anti back into the mix, doesn't get the kill that he wanted with his mana point, gets in snared and gets killed off as well, Nine seven picking up the kill, the Shrek going down on the side on the side of the Radiant team, Telekinesis, Drops back to Naga Siren, but she doesn't really she doesn't really care. She is just a distraction. Her own team is killing off the barracks. Barracks are down here, and they're gonna continue going onto the range barracks, I guess, unless they're just gonna back out. But you know what? They are not gonna get harassed. Anti Mage is dead. They killed off. <laughs> they killed off a bunch of heroes, and they will be able to get the range barracks as well. So once again, mouse ports. It is it is too fast. It is too fast. They cannot hold just yet, they need that anti -mage to give, be given more time to be getting a hard up or a BKB or something that helps them stay alive. And next to that, again a black hole that catches three or more. So it is positioning that they are not that strong of a... Uh, about anyway, even though it's of course pretty hard if you want to defend your base so not stand that close together, but still, uh, if you have the soul on the opponent's team, you are uh, gonna try to, uh, you have to try to keep your position in, uh, in check. If you're blade level 2, picked up the Nevada Naga Siren, and she is building towards, I do think this is gonna be turning into a heart if she is given the chance, even though she has no gold whatsoever right now. Uh, she has the most net worth, and she is uh, farming pretty fast now that Antimage has uh, been forced to have a break from farming. He's gonna continue farming though, uh, but only for a short period of time, because it is Empire that's just continue with their strategy. They do not want to give Mouse the time to farm up, and it's like they have the momentum. Why wait? Okay, they do not have a black hole, but they took the melee barracks in mid lane without a black hole or a song, and they do have a song this time, so that is it in fans right there. Right there. Illusions, Iron Lungs able to take care of this tier 3 tower, we do see Blow Your Brain waiting for a good position, Scandal taking a lot of damage here though, and there's a song, right in time, 
and there's no black holes just yet, but they give the opportunity for everybody to back out of that safely, and that was needed as well, because that was a fight that we're looking towards, uh, to go on towards uh, Mouseport. The Shrax down from Rubik hits on two, Kinetic Field, vacuum in, into the Static Storm as well, but still, nobody died, but the Rubik Nagus not even able to pick that one up. We're gonna see Shadow Shaman being picked up, Pass on the way out, Bamboo runs towards the base, and Alex, what can he do? Nothing at all, and the GG is golden, it's gonna be Empire that will be victorious in this matchup, of course, on paper, Considering previous results, that was not really a surprise, but, or at least, uh, nah, not, not really a surprise. They are considered the, the strongest team in EU right now. Nice, Man of Boy still, but it, it's, it's not enough. Everybody stays alive. Black Hole for the Antimate. BKV up on the Enigma. Uh, everybody dead. Team Wipe on the side of Mouse Sports, but the GG has already been called, and it's gonna be Empire that's gonna be victorious over Mouse Sports in this Star Ladder match. Uh, my name is Shiver. Thank you for watching. I casted this match via Nord TV because you can buy the in game tickets. Uh, you can buy the in game tickets just as I did and then cast if you want to or just watch the games in game. And uh, since there was no English cast for this match, I um, made sure that there was. So uh, happy times for that. Uh, you can follow me on YouTube. Uh, subscribing to my YouTube is actually pretty, pretty, pretty. I really want you to subscribe to my YouTube. Thank you. Uh, YouTube.com slash Shiva Gaming is really welcome. Wow. There was a uh, blackout in my brain. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, there will be no more cast uh, matches casted by me today. And uh, I might play some pubs though. But uh, we'll see. Thank you for watching anyway. Here's an outro for you. Actually, I will let you watch this for us like a little longer just so. Uh, just so you can see that. And I will, of course, play commercials. Thank you for staying if you stay for commercials.